What's going on guys, and today I will be talking about uh, news my channels and what will happen under COPPA on YouTube. Um, so if you guys haven't known, uh, YouTube got sued for like $170 million to billion dollars, I don't really care at this point. Um, basically, it was for COPPA, which is a Child Something Protection Act. Uh, basically, it's supposed to be with kids' websites, like kids' stuff can't take kids' data on websites. Um, but uh, so what happened was COPPA and the FTC sued YouTube because of child uh, stuff on YouTube, and YouTube was collecting the data. And YouTube was really being dumb. Uh, when all throughout the years leading up to this, um, for example, they've said so many times in the last few years, we are the number one uh, place for kids content. We are the number one place for this uh, young demographic of kids. Um, that's that's being dumb. YouTube, like you, you are. One of the biggest companies, you are owned by one of the biggest companies, or just owned by another bigger company. Okay? Like, Alphabet, uh, bought Google, I don't know how many years ago, but it, now look at Google. They own YouTube, and then they own that. And so, if you're one of the biggest companies, you need to know the rules of, of the law. Like, Especially if you are going to be the number one place for anything, you gotta know the rules first. And YouTube saying those things and then still having personalized ads or like collecting data, that's not okay. Because then you're getting attention of the FTC. Uh, and you're getting attention of a lot of outsiders that's like, wait, hold on a minute. This place said that they were 13 plus when they made it, but now within the last few years, they've said that they've been the number one place for kids. Uh, so, went into them, and then they said, as a compromise, that YouTube would make a bot and make plenty of bots that would say whether your video was kid-friendly or not. And also, you had to put your content, all every single video, it, like, like, I know that some people haven't posted a lot of videos, but trust me, there are people on the website who's posted several thousand videos on the platform on YouTube, okay? And so to tell them, you have to go through every single video on your channel and to say it's child friendly or not, that is a task, especially when you have only a month and month or two to do it because this law, well, it was already a law back in like 1998. But this rule coming to YouTube is coming on January 1st, 2020. Uh, so basically, we're going to the new decade of censorship on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's becoming a same thing as 2017, 2016, when YouTube just put in demonization and all of a sudden, thousands of channels got deleted. What do you think is going to happen here, YouTube? In the last few years, because you didn't listen to your rule, uh, to the United States rules and laws, now you are going to put thousands of channels into jeopardy. How you feel, YouTube? And it's not only big channels. No, the FTC says they can uh, find videos on 20 million YouTube channels, and I may be one of them. Okay, and. And there's penalties 
for you not marking the right thing. It could be up to $42,000. $42,000. And mind you, most YouTubers don't even get paid. And if they do, a very small amount. Only the biggest YouTubers have that much money. And those channels don't have that much because they've already gotten demonetized demonetized from a couple years ago when YouTube implemented the demonetization rule, which might also had a, a kind of a cause effect thing on this because when they put that in it, they're like, yeah, we want to make this website more child friendly. Hmm. Let's see. More child friendly on a website that's supposed to be 13 plus. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because you want to make a child friend. You want to make content more child friendly when your demographic is supposed to be teens and young adults. I'm telling you, YouTube is. I can't tell you why they did this, why they made these comments, and why they didn't know this. Listen, YouTube has billions of dollars. You would think that they could get at least, like, a person who knows half the United States laws to tell you that, uh, that you probably shouldn't be making these comments about you being the best website for kids. Um, so basically, now I have to go into my channel and mark every single video other for kids and not for kids. Um, but I don't know on some of the stuff, okay? Some of it's kind of a guessing game, and it's not a guessing game like, haha, it's fun kind of guessing game. It's $42,000 per video guessing game. Okay? Where do sports content lies? I have no idea. I mean, if you look at sports demographics, I guess you can say teens. Uh, teens. Not really teens. Mostly young adults. Maybe older adults. If you're talking about something like baseball. Um, if you're looking for gaming, I have no idea where Fortnite lies. Like, you really look at it, and it's like, the game says it's made for teens, but I couldn't tell you how many little kids I see playing Fortnite. Uh, Minecraft, it's really for all, but you know that, um, that the FTC is not going to care. They're going to be like, hey, it's E for everyone, and it's not like a simulation of well, of a world, of rules of a game, kind of like MLB The Show or Madden. So they may say, okay, well, um, yeah, we we will mark uh, Minecraft as child-friendly. And then, so basically, there's this dark area, though, because, like, okay, it's Minecraft, right? But you also have to take and sit the person playing Minecraft, okay? Um, I mean, if it's a, if it's like a young kid, or it's a adult, really, really, like, talking really funny, or like, this high pitch, like, hey guys, how's it going? Trying to market to the kids, then yeah, that should be kids. But what happens when you are making jokes that might not target kids, but targets teens or adults? But because it's Minecraft, it may still be targeted as kids. And then you get to where you have this, just have a bunch of gray areas in between. So, how do you determine, like, how do you determine someone who's doing something child friendly, but the jokes or what someone says in that video is not appropriate for kids? Uh, that that's a question for FTC and YouTube to talk about. And 
they haven't really given spe specifications on these things. Um, really, all they told us was, uh, if it's targeted towards kids and it looks like kids' content, then it is. Like, well, thank you. It's like, if it's animated characters and it's something, 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 then it's targeted towards kids. Animated car uh, characters and toys. I mean, trust me, they there are cartoons that that are more for teens and adults. I mean, South Park um, and Family Guy and Simpsons, those are all adult cartoons. But I think uh, there was an example of like a South Park episode that uh, like a scene that someone put on YouTube or whatever, and it was market. It said that was market towards kids. How's that target towards kids? I have no idea. Um, like I said, there's a lot of gray hair where you don't really know whether it's going to be kids content or adult content. And so now, you're playing this game of, do not be demonetized, but do not be child-friendly. And so, each question of demonization is like, okay, be more child-friendly. And then you go to the child-friendly zone, it's like, hey, be more edgy. Where is it in between? Where is it? Like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. But it's like going down this very, very narrow hallway with a bus. It's like that because you look at and you say that is physically impossible to not be edgy, but also not to be child friendly. It's pretty hard to not be one of those two. Okay? And so you gotta really take consideration. Like, should YouTube really go into 2020 and start demonization. Because if you think about it, um, you can't have this narrow hallway and you gotta have all these creators try to fit into that narrow, narrow hallway where they're not child friendly, but they can't be too edgy. I would take out demonization totally now if I was YouTube. It's, it's now that you are now putting in this act and you're closing the window and YouTube needs to open it back up. Okay? Um, so, take out demonization totally. Like, take out the top, like, the stuff that's edgy. Take, put, like, let that be on the website and then still have the kids thing. Okay? Because then... You can see, okay, well, maybe this person was targeted towards kids and now they're going to be off the site because the kids saw the ads. And now, maybe, maybe they in 10 to 20 years, maybe YouTube will be like, I think we got most of the kids' content out here. FTC, can you reevaluate us? And maybe YouTube should also give up YouTube kids. Uh, so then that way, FTC can be like, okay, well, you look like you don't have a lot of kids on your platform because, well, all the kids' content went away, and you're, uh, and you seem to want to target more teens and adults that take out demonization. So yeah, we'll allow you to take that thing out. Um, it's a long shot, but. That's the only way I can see YouTube return, return to form. And right now, YouTube is not even in the best position. Like a few months ago, I thought, okay, well, YouTube had monetization, uh, and really bad copyright stuff. But now it's gone even worse now with this copy. How can you make a platform that was already bad by by taking out edgy content or copywriting everyone who barely sings one note of a song, easy. You don't allow people to be child friendly.
Uh, so now you have it to where you can't be kid friendly, but you can't be edgy, and you can't use any copyright songs, and like it's dumb. You like I'm not saying take out the cope a lot. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that YouTube made a mistake. And FTC's making everyone pay. And I don't really get that. Why is that that all creators should pay for YouTube's mistake? Okay? I was not the problem with this. I did not cause this. YouTube caused it on their own by saying that they were the best for kids. That's the real problem here. We are going to have thousands of channels either leave YouTube or just get absolutely wrecked by the new things. And I would not doubt that YouTube will come out with the system, kind of like uh, community guideline strikes, but for kids' content. I would not doubt that. And so, you can maybe see thousands of channels deleted, even the biggest ones, the like the absolute pinnacle of top creators on YouTube. And so now, you are left with many, many people watch these channels, which on January 1st will be confused because most of the creators are gone. Most of the creators are left the platform because of this. Because YouTube made a stupid mistake many times and they didn't follow the law. And for my channel, uh, I've considered a lot of things. I've considered uh, deleting the uh, things I think may have a slight risk. I may have to delete the Minecraft stuff. Or, I may have to go off YouTube. Um, I've thought about it uh, several times. I thought that maybe I could find a video platform where I can upload and then, you know, maybe live stream on Twitch, uh, DLive, or some other channel. A platform where I can make content because I cannot survive in this area of YouTube where I can be fined $42,000. Okay? I don't have the money to pay $42,000. I, like, seriously, YouTube is not a place where people. Just has become billionaires. Hardly anyone on YouTube is a billionaire, let, let alone a millionaire for most of them. Okay? Um, I would say that YouTube is really, really bad when it comes to not listening to careers. Um, it's not really putting careers' best interests heart. And this is just one area of that. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, get the news. And hopefully you guys are prepared for January 1st, 2020. Because I will uh, decide on what I will do. And uh, hopefully I can put my best foot forward. And hopefully, uh, hopefully YouTube isn't demon is not totally just gone by by twenty twenty one. Because I don't think that many content will survive. I think mainstream media will probably survive. Okay, let's be honest here. YouTube will probably want to keep them alive for a month. But anyway, we'll see you guys later. Uh. Hopefully you guys don't get messed up by uh, Kappa 2, but bye.